Okay, it's like two in the morning, like literally. But I just got this figured out, so I just I can't not. So my problem before was that. Well, first off, I accidentally got the wrong controller. Totally normal, totally understandable. Uh, and the company that I ordered it from, uh, electricscooterparts.com, awesome company, super awesome. They went ahead and they just sent me this one out too after I told them the problem. You know, you know, problems happen. It's like you know what, what matters is what you do to fix them. Such a cool company, honestly. Like they're not a sponsor, but you know, if you want to be, I would love it. You know, you know, reach out. But uh, but yeah, so they're awesome. They have like not only really in depth wire diagrams. I told them, you know, after I got this one, what was going on? I was having a hard time getting it to run. Still, if you watch my previous video, you can see it's still kind of like <laughs> it wants to twitch and move in the self learn mode, but it it wasn't wanting to work with the throttle. We got that figured out. Let me tell you what the problem was. So here's the wire right here, and we had it plugged in before. And so they sent me this whole wire diagram too, with pictures and diagrams and several different ways to test it. Just I just absolutely love that. I love people who are thorough. But uh, but yeah. So the problem ended up being is just these wires. You see how you get a red, a green, and a black, and a red, a green, and a black. Well, this red, green, and black didn't line up with these. <laughs> None of them lined up. So we pulled those pins out, put them in, and then. Let's see, all you gotta do is, let's see, give it a little... <laughs> just to give you some idea of how just obscenely powerful this is, dear lord. That was terrifying. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, uh, now she chooches. Okay. I guess once it reaches... This is the charger's plugged in, so I guess once it reaches the point where it's supposed to be charged. Oh, okay. I guess it still considers it full. Oh man, this is crazy though. Look how powerful this is. Is, it is scary. Let's unplug the power cable and see what it does without the power cable too. Because we're having a little, it's a, it's a little funny with this thing still. I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take 72 volts off of the battery pack and convert it, that's what this whole thing does, and convert it to 12 and feed it to the armatures. But it doesn't really like that super, super much. So what I think I'm gonna do is I have this right here. This is a three 18650s in a row. Uh, so it's like 12 volts when it's fully charged. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this, but I think I'm gonna keep this as like a little buffer. So when it's plugged in and it's charging, it'll feed 12 volts to this, charge this up to 12 volts. So yeah, so okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Because I think the problem is is that when you're throttling it on and off, it's drawing power from the, you know, these big main cables are drawing power from the battery pack, and then it's kind of making that, you know, that's that. that uh, the voltage fluctuate and then it, this thing likes really stable power to be able to give out 12 volts from 72 so when it's charging when it's plugged in it works totally fine but oh man I'm, I'm really tempted to hook in the different power modes and the forward and reverse too okay let's do that let's do that okay so we unplugged it well, she still likes to turn so that's good all right all right, all right. we're gonna plug in the, the speed controllers too just that one blip cost us a whole volt though it's kind of crazy how much juice this thing draws so yeah we might have to do more batteries honestly okay so now we also have the reverse button plugged in and we also have the three speed controller plugged in on this thing which are these two things you know you got forward reverse one two one two three for your chooch meter and then we went ahead and we just kind of took that off and we substituted this battery pack which is just three 18650s in a row. It's got like 10, 10 volts on it left. I'm really tempted to just kind of connect this and this back to these and just kind of run them in parallel and just use this as like a buffer just to kind of even things out. But uh, I also have this tendency of setting things on fire. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe we'll think about that one. So, okay. So let's try... Oh gosh, I'm so scared now.
Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I may have just smoked something. Now we're... Oh. Fabulous. Now we got nothing. That doesn't seem right. Two volts. I wonder if one of the batteries popped out. Let me check it. Okay, now we, this is the bursting in the flames territory right here I was talking about earlier. So I don't know. That's why it's only saying two volts now. It's weird. Uh, I'm going to charge it back up real quick because maybe I shouldn't. Hmm, let me think about this. Hmm, I wonder if one of these cells is no good because I can feel this one is warm. And it's not really showing any more voltage on it. I smoked her. That was pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That was almost 10 volts a second ago. I'm measuring it from the ends, too. Ruh -ruh. Hmm. Whoopsie doodle. I think I might have smoked this one. It's warmer than these other two. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, I'm going to plug the charger in, F it. Okay, so it's plugged in there. Right to here. This is questionable, what I'm doing. Okay, now this thing certainly ought to read. Unless I smoked one of these. We're going. We're getting up there. 82 volts. Right. This is supposed to be an 84 volt pack. Right, right, right. 4.2 times 20, 84 volts. Okay. It says 82 volts. I wonder what happens. I wonder what's going to read when I unplug this now. It's not showing like it's charging. Oh, I just heard something. Small fire breaking out? No? Okay. Huh. Old. Very old. Uh-oh. Okay. Huh. Let's unplug these. Maybe something's not right with this. Maybe these are miswired, too. Okay, let me unplug these again and try again. It worked fine before that. Boy, it sure wants to sit at two volts. Okay. Well, that's not quite right. <clears throat> I wonder if that's the BMS protecting it because one of the cells went bad. So I guess I'm going to... Well, okay. <laughs> More things to be done. I guess I'm going to pull these 18650s out and make sure that they're all good. So maybe if just one of those is bad, it won't work. That's interesting. Let's check them. Okay, strange things are happening. I just put my... Uh, I just smoked both of these, touching them to these leads. Mm, that's not good. Okay. Hmm. Um, so it occurs to me, uh, possibly after I have already smoked the controller, that while the battery pack may be able to take up to 84 volts, potentially, the controller can probably only go up to 72. So, but that's also still weird because I unhooked it. And I'm still not getting any any voltage on the battery pack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this apart and maybe switch out the 18650s. Make sure these are still good. <laughs> I don't know. I smoked something. I know it. So here's a look at our BMS. And unfortunately, this thing comes completely separate than the battery tray holder and yes I know that 18650 is missing its sheath and it's dangerous but we're experimenting so oh I hope I didn't smoke this thing oh man I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna test all these real quick I'm just gonna pop them out we're just gonna pop all these out and uh yeah they should be about four two four point two volts to hold to be good so okay let's let's check them so here they are all in their majesty all 20 of the 18650s that were in this tray on the top and bottom now let's test them <laughs> nice apparently i had my multimeter turned not this way 
but the opposite way and I was measuring like a very very large or small scale so it wasn't giving right so this this isn't dead I was like man I just killed everything so this has still got some life to it it's still got like let's see let's see let's see let's see I think it was like that's right hold the phone with my feetsies let's see what did that say Yeah, it's still going. Like four volts. There's like four volts left in this. So yeah, there's some power left in that. Okay. So I measured these two. <clears throat> those are good. Those are good. Like four volts in those. Let's keep going. Let's measure. Let's check all these. We're just gonna go up the line to make sure. I didn't sm make sure I didn't smoke everything. Well, we might have found our culprit. So all of these, at least three volts. That one over there charging up to 4.2 volts on the 18650 charger that one had like two point something but this one right here has like half a volt so this might be if i switch this one out it, the battery might have stopped the bms might have done its job and stopped it since this one cell got too low i don't know we'll see we'll see i'll replace this one i'm gonna check those last two and then we'll snap it back together and we'll see if we can get some voltage to come out of it because it was saying nothing and there's at least two volts in all these so you know what i mean that should be at least that should be at least 20 volts that are still in the battery. So it should not be, should not be reading two volts.